Now that we're in the long drought between the first and second halves of Viking Season 4, it's a good time to learn French braiding and the Buren hairstyle that uses it. This is designed to work best with hair that's much shorter than mine, like shoulder length. But if your hair is longer, we can adapt it for you as well. Keep watching to learn how to do it. The specific Buren style in this video is for his mohawk-like braid and bun that we see for most of the first half of Season 4. This isn't the long braid he has in the mid-season finale, but if you want to do that too, it's almost exactly like Ragnar's hair in Season 1, so check out that tutorial in the link above. To start this one, place your fingers at the corners of your forehead and draw them straight backwards to make two parts. When you reach the back of your head, pick up all this hair on top of your head that you sectioned off and separate it from the rest of your hair. Flip it forward for a second and ponytail the rest of your hair to keep it out of the way. Now with your hair on top, pick up a section that runs all the way across your forehead. Split this into three strands and get ready to French braid. If you've never French braided before, watch carefully here. First, bring a side strand over the middle so the two switch places, and then the other side strand over the middle as well. Easier said than done, right, when you haven't practiced the finger positioning yet, but notice how I'm using individual fingers to hook the strands and hold them against my palm. This way, even though I only have two hands, I can hold multiple strands at once without dropping any. Normally in a regular braid, we just bring each side strand over the middle again in an alternating order, but for French braiding, we first add in more hair to each of these strands. To do so, I'm holding all the braid strands in one hand, and with the other, I'm picking up a bit more free hanging hair from right next to the braid. Add this into the nearest side strand so it becomes one larger strand, and then weave it over the middle. With the other side strand, also add in more hair this way before weaving it over the middle. Keep up with this pattern, adding in new hair to the side strands as you move back across the top of your head, and then weaving them over the middle strand in alternating order. If your hair is on the longer side, it's also good practice to run your hand down the entire length of the side strand once you add in more hair in order to completely separate that new hair from the rest of your locks. That way you avoid tangling things. When you French braid it all the way to the back of your head and you've incorporated all the hair that isn't in your ponytail, you can now braid normally to the ends. That is, weave the outside strands over the middle one without adding in any new hair and keep going until you're at the ends of the strands and you can't braid with them anymore. For some of you, that will be just a couple extra stitches, and for others like me, that'll be another few minutes away. To secure the braid, we're going to do what's called clubbing the end. Before the elastic hair tie was invented and braids were tied off with string or ribbon, this held the string on better. People complain sometimes how Vikings costuming isn't very historically accurate, but this part is. To club the braid in short hair, Pretend my braid ends where I'm holding it, and fold the end under so the braid is folded in half. Take a small hair tie or string if you're ambitious, and tie this formation to keep it in place. If your hair is longer, also fold the braid under in the same way I did here so you have a little club, but then also like me you'll have some extra braid length hanging below it. Roll up the rest of the braid, and lifting up the club, poke this braid underneath your French braid. Do this slowly and carefully, so nothing comes jutting out the top of your French braid like some sort of hair hernia. Then stick a couple bobby pins in there to keep the braid in place. This will make the French braid look more voluminous, but we like that for this style, so go on then. If you didn't have the long braid, well, you were done once you clubbed the braid. Afterwards, you can let down the rest of your hair and you're ready to go. Feel free to make variations on this look too. For instance, instead of clubbing the braid, you can pull all your hair into a high ponytail. Or shave the rest of your hair like Buren's. You'll need less shampoo that way. If this video helped you out or you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments. You should also check out my other men's hair tutorials for Vikings characters as well as other cool fantasy shows. Thanks for stopping by and happy braiding!